why are these words super important let's dive into this you'll get everything don't worry about anything okay now see the root is a the root is a root is nothing but the essence okay so the root is a the meaning is without so we need to make a word with using a like a could be in middle a could be in the end a could be at the front okay so it's it's completely normal but the meaning should be without the meaning should be without so can anyone tell me is this a negative word or a positive word which word will it be which word will it be let's just forget this don't see these words tell me tell me will it be a negative word or a positive word yes yes ma'am repeat please what what i haven't even explained anything anjali what will i repeat for you that these are root words should i repeat this that okay this is a list of root words i haven't even said anything to you what should i repeat okay yeah you are absolutely correct it's it, it will be a it will be a negative word probably you can assume it to be the same now the sample words let's just see so without okay the meaning should be without a bias without bottom okay now uh, guys you need to understand that these words how these words are used here a uh, means here a uh, means something without anything okay something without a subject which we'll study right now now a bias that means without bottom achromatic that is without color something which is uh, in a simple order n hydrous that is without water now you can simply sense that this word n hydrous is related to water is related to water why because there is hydro because there is hydro and we know what hydro is of course it's water and when the word o comes here when the word o comes here which simply means without when we understand this thing we will completely understand that this word will simply means without water imagine you didn't even had to understand look at the dictionary see for different hell lot of words and you got to see the meaning imagine this is so charismatic right so what you have to do is you have to see how root words work once you are so on and so on with it you will be like simply empowering all the things so let's see the synonyms okay so it's a bas okay sham fissure achromatic acromus these are nothing but the similar meaning these are nothing but the similar meanings now you guys listen to me very carefully you might not get these words usually but once you start reading the articles the magazines the high frequency words you'll find the root words once you start identifying how root words work once you start identifying how the root words work you will able to sense the meaning of the word without even looking at the dictionary with without you know just looking at the whole sentence and everything you'll sense you'll you know presume the meaning of it okay let's come on okay now this is a again but the meaning is on the meaning is on okay so it's a fire like uh, uh, before few minutes like in the previous class suchita used a word suchita what was the word suchita what was the word related to a suchita what was the word related to a you used are you there in the meeting no okay i don't know maybe network issues she used the word akin anyone can tell me what this uh, meaning what the what is the meaning of this word kin means we know 
Akin is also related as relatives. Okay, yeah, it is possible. But one more meaning can be presumed. What could it be? Relative, right? Relative to each other. Now, a fire means on fire. A shore means on the shore. A side means on the side. Can you see how the root words work? And these are the synonyms. Next. A, B, S or A. Okay. A, B, S. Like A, B, S. Or only A, B. Or A. Now the meaning should be from, away or off. From, away or off. Let's see. Abduct. This is a very common word. word which means to carry away by force, okay? Abnormal, which you often call your friends. Hey, you, you are abnormal, okay? You are abnormally insane, right? We use these words. Away from normal or not normal. Of course, you are not normal. The masks, the N95 masks, which we used to wear for a few weeks or few days, we might have senses as abnormal this is something abnormal this is not normal but now it's the new normal right now next absent you know see a b that is away or off absent that is away not present aversion that is we avert from somewhere right the act of turning away every weight to shorten like the what is the full form of uh, g s t what is the full form of USA? So these are the abbreviations, the short form, correct? Right? So these are the words. I hope you are getting what root words are. I hope you are getting what root words are. These are the similar meanings. Yeah? Abstract, abbreviative, aversion, abduct. Yes, great, great. Next word is AC. Okay, we'll be doing five, six, seven uh, words so that uh, you don't get bored, of course, and you get the idea of it. You also, every day, you, ma'am. What's you, ma'am? Oh, you. I, I think you might be writing yes, ma'am. So, uh, like, from the Monday till the next Friday, I'll be giving you PDFs and assignments. You need to every day do something or the other. You'll be given five days, five activities. You have to complete those activities and submit or upload it where, uh, to the link uh, which we'll provide you so that every day you learn something or the other. Invest these three months. Invest the, these three months in a very, very, very sensible manner. Okay, guys, you have, you have to be like perfect. Okay. That's the main motive. Understood, ma'am. Yeah, perfect. Great. Now, don't write such words. Only understand, okay? A-C-A-D. Now, what, what is the meaning of it? It's two towards near. Two towards near. Accelerate. What does it mean? To increase the speed. Accelerate. We say, now we uh, use accelerators in the car. What does that mean? To accelerate something means to speed up. Yeah. Come on, the work is going to slow accelerate it. Accessible. That is easily approachable. Right. We say now the board of directors have accessible reports for the members. The members, the shareholders, the stakeholders of the company can access to the records, to the minute reports of the general meeting. Now, this is something which I said is completely corporate, but I really hope now you can sense onto some things, right? Yeah. You have to listen to something, then only you'll be able to do. This is purely in English class, so I, I'm really cutting down how it works in Hindi. So, kindly pardon me for that. In case you want anything, I, you need anything to repeat, kindly tell me. Acro. Now, this is a very good uh, word and uh, you guys get confused out of it. Acro means height, top, right? Beginning, from the tip, okay? So, acrobat, acronym. That is, we say the, uh, the first capital word, yeah, the letters of words, acronym. Acrophobia, that is fear of height. Many people have that, right? 
I have that fear. I love amusements. Okay, I love the rides. I love all those things. But uh, when it comes to like seeing something from the top to the bottom, I am like, oh my god, oh my gosh, where will I go? Like that. Okay. So this is acrobat. This is acronym, and this is acrophobia. Now I would like to surprise you people with a very, very, very special announcement, and that's the debate thing. Okay, now that's the debate thing. I'll teach you how to debate. I'll teach you how to debate in the public speaking skills tomorrow. I'll show you how to go for the arguments and against. And you people will be facing each other for this thing. Okay, you people will be facing each other. Sounds exciting or not? Type in Y for yes and for no. Okay, okay, great. And who will like to defeat me in a debate? Who will like to defeat me in debate? Okay, Netik, you want me? You want to defeat me? Okay, Netik wants to defeat me in a debate. Yeah. And and who else? Okay, I want to see the sportsman spirit. Come on, guys, come on! Only Netik wants to defeat me. Yes, ma'am, me too. Okay, Kushbu, Akshit wants to. Me three. Me, ma'am. Okay, everybody wants to defeat me. Let's see. Okay, Anjali, it will be T double O two. First of all. Rectify your spellings, yeah. Now this is ACT Act and Small ACT Act. Now this this has a very deep meaning. ACT Act is a statute, okay. And this ACT Act is the Karnama, the actions you do. Statute, law, legislative. If only these three words are used, capital ACT Act means these words, okay. <laughs> Okay, let's just see. That means to do activity. Okay, this is something which is of course related to a verb, which is of course related to a verb. Activity, react to do something basically. Interaction. Can you see the root words? Can you see how it works? Now you might be getting a you know a sense of it. Okay, that okay. This is something. Okay, I know this. And the last word for the day is A E R or A E R O. Right? Aerate simply means air. Okay, simply means space. Fine. Airify. Charge. See? These are the root words which we learned today. I'm going to repeat it for you. Once again, so that you get a clear picture of what we learned. So that you get a clear picture of what we learned. The first one was a, uh, that means without. We learned these these many words from it, and there are similar meanings of few words. Then we had a, uh, that means on a fire, a shore, a site. Then we had these words. Right, and the signs, A C A D, two towards there, accelerate, accessible, acro means stop, height, zenith, beginning, acrobat, acronym. I will, I will definitely. You'll see the difference. Okay, once you want to, you know, know that how I am different from the other students. How to sense that thing? Come at the seven p.m. 7 p.m. class tomorrow, okay? Indian 7 p.m. class tomorrow, YouTube session. You will feel the difference. You will see how you answer. What do you think of the answers? How do you connect to the questions and how others do? You'll definitely see the difference. I promise you that. Now, let's just dive into the questions. When did I say that on YouTube you will debate an ethic? First, listen to the questions and then ask these stupid questions from me, okay? Yeah. So,
so the this was the question i asked in the last class last week answer me let's see how much you guys remember so which among the following cannot be which among the following cannot be pathological now see here are the root words here there are the root words i'll say what are the root words here pathological root words let's see patho sorry patho means disease okay and kal kal means what c a l c a l means what lies through his teeth okay okay lies through his teeth what does this means what what does this mean no this this wasn't we didn't do this in the last question we didn't do uh, in the last session sorry guess guess the answer i have uh, given you a hint i've given you a hint let's just see what happens okay 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 wait 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 no 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 we need to start it from here then only you'll be able to answer sorry 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 wait 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 wait, wait. i'm really sorry here is a question it's a strange disease okay it's a strange di uh, disease here's a paragraph given to you kindly go through the paragraph kindly go through the paragraph i'm really sorry kindly go through the paragraph and then i'll discuss the answer with you really sorry answer me for question 7 answer me for question 7 you are not concerned with the difference between truth and falsehood you do not bother to distinguish fact from fantasy in fact your lying is a disease that no antibiotic can cure oh my god these words are so cast <laughs> that this can okay okay we have answers we have answers we have answers yeah i know you guys can do this because i have already said that it's pathological super quick right yeah you guys are super smart you know once i hit i give you a hint okay okay yes navya navya give the answer okay don't tell me what i'm thinking it's true are you referring this to navya i hope not Okay, 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 okay. I got that. I got that. Uh, Akshay is saying B, and Navya is saying some other answer. Okay, let's just see what the answer will will be. So you are not concerned with the difference between truth and falsehood. So someone is saying to someone that the person, the the person uh, about whom we are talking, doesn't even bother what truth is and what false is. Okay. If you bother about anything. is what we don't know it's not even fact okay it's fantasy you live in a fantasy world which is not real okay which is unreal in fact you your lying is a disease you have a disease of lying someone has a disease of uh, disease of you know um what what can be disease disease of 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 yes okay okay we are getting some diseases over here yeah yeah tell me tell me tell me what can be disease there are so many diseases okay yeah the spelling is wrong but yeah that's true so someone has a disease someone has a habit of something or the other okay because of that particular thing so lying for you is a disease that no medicine antibiotic is what a medicine right no antibiotics yeah 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 again yes yes of course so no antibiotics can cure that thing 
so which particular thing are we talking about that's a path uh, pathological liar because patho means a disease and kal means what lying so pathological liar is someone who can lie through their teeth now this is a phrase someone who lies lies through his teeth is a pathological liar or you can say a liar from a liar from his boat okay he has a disease of this particular thing now someone can ask me ma'am why not mercurial what do you mean by mercurial mercurial means something which is volatile something which is volatile something which is you know related to nature temperature something a uh, volatile or mercurial can be nature which is volatile ever changing mercurial can be temperature which is ever changing you know it's not stagnant it's volatile it keep on changing on and on and on and on and on okay so mercurial could be nature mercurial could be temperature now uh, somebody asked me ma'am what is this this is something dangerous this is something related to disease of course but cancerous liar is not a word it it is not possible okay i hope we are done with this point 7 type in u for understood type in r for repeat i hope this is clear guys look the amount which you have paid for this particular course is very minimal okay but the things which we are providing is super new and you won't get this anywhere so kindly refer your friends ask more and more people to join we are new institution so people don't know us but okay great thank you so much everyone let's move on to eighth thing now this is something which you can tell me so which among the following cannot 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 okay why did i show you this you would have then uh, take down onto something once you know root words you will be the king of vocabulary and only learning words won't help you dear okay only learning words won't help you using them will help you build your own vocabulary the words which i'm speaking i know those words okay akshit said b and uh, anjali said b as well okay let's see how it works so which among the following cannot be pathological someone is telling me jealousy cannot be pathological someone is saying me pathological r is not possible and someone saying pathological dedication is not possible see something which cannot be pathological pathological is a positive word or a negative word we have to understand that pathological is a negative word for sure if pathological is a negative word my dear something which cannot be pathological should be a positive word that means you are finding for a positive positive word dedication dedication is a positive word so this is the correct answer because pathological cannot be dedication now let's tell me jealousy you know what jealousy is right i ka matlab dekhte hain yahan pe what the, what is the meaning of i r e r let's see i am writing it over here it means anger okay it means anger so pathological r is possible pathological jealousy is possible but pathological dedication is not possible yes navya you are absolutely correct you are absolutely correct yes jashn is anger it's anger but anger is not the correct answer dedication is the correct answer we are done with these words okay the next word which we are here seeing here is dash an element is also called dash and hence a dash temperament means unpredictable and dash now here you can see you can see four words and you can see 1 2 3 4 blanks so whichever option you choose will fill the four blanks now you have to think you have to think and you have to put on the answer you have to answer me a b or c okay 
Now answer this wisely, okay? Brownie point for this answer. Brownie point for this answer. Don't haze. Mandridatta. Better don't be like, itna zada quick silver mat bano ki garbar kar jo. Akshit, you will learn anything or not, I don't know, but you will definitely learn few Hindi words, okay? Do you know how to speak Hindi? Do you understand Hindi? Oh, no, you don't understand. You have already said. But you know few words? Yeah? No, you don't even know that. Okay. So, okay, you know few words. Fine. And Navya, you? Few, okay. Like Namaste. I would love you to uh, say Namaste to your Indian siblings. Uh, not siblings, sorry. Your... Uh, you are uh, Indian from origin, na? so all Indian uh, all Indians are your brothers and sisters. So these are your cousins right here. <laughs> Just a joke. Huh? Love from India. Mm. Okay. So everyone has written something or the other. Now let's just quickly discuss. Quickly discuss. Okay, I'm erasing all these things, okay? Let's just see. You had to like, itta dimagi nahi lagana tha. Aapko kya karna tha? What you had to do is, simply choose something or the other, the meaning of which you know. Like you, need, uh, you know, erratic meaning I have uh, told you. Quicksilver is something you don't know, I know. Mercury is something you know. Okay, let's just see what uh, should be the answer. Something which is unpredictable. Okay. Dash is an element. Now, what could be an element? Quick stand cannot be an element, right? So, let's just eliminate this. Now, we have two options, B or C. Is also called dash. So, we know the answer is B now. Because mercury is an element which is also called compound. And hence a mercurial, okay, mercurial temperament means unpredictable and chronic. Chronic, we have already learned what, what chronic meant in the very previous class. Someone can repeat what chronic meant? Any one of you? What is chronic? It's a disease. It's a disease that is negative sense. So. It could be, it could be used in negative thing. Something that goes on and on and on, which is unpredictable. We don't know. So B is the correct option. B is the correct answer. This one was easy. No, dear. This one was tough. You knew the meanings. You understood how it was. Then you are saying this. But if I, I would have showed you like, like normally you would have said, oh my God, what word is it? The last word for the day, no, no regrets. You are completely without a conscience. Now, I'll say what are the meanings. First, try it of your own. First, try. I'll say you what, what are the meanings. These are the words which you can write in, you know, on the letters, on the holiday cards, and you can send it to your uh, favorite enemies. They'll be triggered like anything. My goodness. <laughs> They'll be triggered like anything. <laughs> you don't know. You have to try, beta. You have to try. Okay? You have to try. Without trying, if, you, yeah, if you're feeling, oh my God, I cannot solve this i don't know how to do it it's not possible in tomorrow public speaking class we are gonna nail it anyways 7 p.m youtube 8 p.m zoom and we'll be together tomorrow for two hours probably for two hours probably yeah okay guys yes time's up time's up time's up time's up Okay, I'm not taking any more chat. Okay, so what is conscience? This means in Hindi, we call it as Zameer. The inner self. The inner self, okay? No matter what misery. Misery is Dukh. 
misery is dukh right sadness tragedy your fabrications what a fabrication your lies something which you tie up something which you have to make the fabrications the lies may cause your innocent victims the person who is not related to who is suffering from your lies you never feel the slightest twinge twinge is what twinge is slightest tiniest thoda sa bhi jisko bolte hain thoda sa bhi guilt nahi hua tumko totally un un scarp yeah, okay i'm writing it for you for your pronunciation i'm writing in a hind english tone okay so that you can pronounce okay so that you can pronounce this is not the spelling this is the correct spelling okay unscarpulous so you can simply pronounce it like this now you are dangerous person to get mixed up with you cannot be uh, mixed up like uh, you are such kind of person with whom if someone mixes up it's it's like dangerous thing so which which liar it could be this session was based on liars so tag all your liars screenshot it tag us akshit and navya if you have your social media accounts tag k plus there okay okay traumatized liar unpredictable liar unconsignable liar a for akshit okay akshit says a traumatized liar what do you mean by unscarpulous this means unethical unethical unpredictable you means someone who is bizarre okay someone who is bizarre okay it's okay it's okay if you don't have it's okay traumatized liar what's traumatized okay anyone wants to speak anything because it's the time's over the answer will be c okay the answer would be c the answer will be c thank you so much guys you'll get the pdf you'll get the assignment stay tuned i'll be adding adding you all in the group if you have not yet subscribed for the course kindly do that ask your friends to do the same there's referrals there discounts going on so just make sure you are in the course because we are going to have a lot of fun thank you have a good day good night bye bye and good